Firstly, wash your hands, as referred to in the New South Wales Department of Health hand hygiene policy. Then, you place the gown on like this. Place your hands through the sleeves, then secure the top of the gown behind you. To secure the middle of the gown, make sure the ties are placed in a position where you can easily untie them when you are removing the personal protective equipment. Next, select the appropriate mask according to the relevant guidelines. Place the mask on like this. Place an elastic loop over each ear, then open up the mask so it covers the chin and goes over the nose. Using both pointer fingers, mould the bridge over the nose. If you're using a face mask with ties, secure the mask by tying the strings at the back of the head and the nape of the neck. Next, select appropriate protective eyewear according to the relevant guidelines. Place the eye protective equipment on, ensuring a good fit. Finally, you put on your gloves. Ensure that the gloves are the correct size and are placed over the sleeves of the gown as demonstrated here. Now, with the personal protective equipment on, you're ready to take the swabs. Perform an identity check with the request form that you've just filled out. Ask the patient to remove their mask and dispose of it properly. Then, ask the patient to rest their head against the wall or the back of a chair. To ensure a good quality specimen, collect epithelial cells from the nasal septum and pharynx and avoid nasal secretions and saliva. Standing to the side of the patient, not in front, as they may sneeze on you, place your non-dominant hand on their forehead. Insert the swab two to three centimetres horizontally into the nostril. Place sideways pressure on the swab to collect the cells from the midline nasal septum and rotate it two to three times. Carefully place the swab back into the collection tube. If you are using the UTM tubes, the swab should be carefully placed into the tube as demonstrated here. The cap can then be used to help snap the shaft at the snap point. Ensure that the snapped end of the shaft fits snugly into the middle of the cap, then close and tighten the cap. As the medium used in this system is a liquid form, care must be taken not to spill the contents of the tube. Now take out the second swab. As before, place one hand on the forehead and ask the patient to open their mouth widely for collection of the throat swab and insert the swab avoiding any saliva. The uvula hangs from the centre of the throat with the focal pillars on either side. The swab needs to be placed just behind the focal pillars. Place sideways pressure on the swab to collect the epithelial cells from the pharynx. Then place the swab back into the swab tube. The collection procedure is now finished. The collector takes off their gloves and performs hand hygiene. Give the patient a couple of tissues which they can then place in the bin after use. The patient is then asked to perform hand hygiene and you give them a new clean mask. The patient may now leave.